They say it's the best country to live and grow old in, Norway. But is it really? Hello, everyone. I am here today, joined by, uh, get this right, Ronald Sagaton and Mats Nielsen. Oh, Was that good? Pronounce it almost right. Almost. Yeah. These guys are from Your Way to Norway, which you you could say your YouTube sensations, your your uh, global superstars. Um, <laughs> we are flattered. Maybe, yeah, maybe. But they are two really, really funny guys, and I think it's probably worth me explaining how this how this has come about because this is one of those things that my wife would call random but i say there's no such thing as random you know i i am a little bit obsessed as many people know with with all things nordic and particularly scandinavian and i've been watching a lot of youtube of people doing things in in sweden and and in norway and so on and i have started to run out a little bit of things that I could find that that was through searching in English. So I I looked uh, for Hytte, which is uh, H-Y-T-T-E, which is Norwegian for um, cabin. So this is typically what Norwegians have, is cabins up in the forest. And I found this um, video called Hytte How's my pronunciation? Cabin, Was that okay? A cabin saga. A cabin, cabin saga or cabin tour. And... I just laughed my head off. These guys are just hilarious. So, so that gives you a short introduction. So you, you guys give, what should we say, an alternative travel um, view of Norway and Norwegians? I would say so. We give an in-depth tour to... Norwegian Yeah, to, I mean, if, you, if, you, if you're a tourist, for instance, and you're searching for Norway, you will see fjords and mountains and the midnight sun and the northern light. And, and I think Norwegian, I mean, the Tourist Bureau of Norway, they love to brag about this. And we are topping their rich, one of the richest countries, one of the happiest countries. Mm. And uh, it's really not like the headlines. Uh, life yes. is not like a headline, and uh, I, uh, uh, Ronald here, uh, I am a mix of uh, a South American woman and a, uh, actually a Sami, uh, I'm not sure if you guys know what a Sami is, but that's the um, native or indigenous tribe of the Nordic countries. Yeah. Uh, and I, so my father, he, he was a sea Sami, and I grew up in a very sea Sami environment uh, with my uh, South American mother. And all of us were trying to uh, learn how is it to be a Norwegian? Right. We were trying to adapt. Yeah, well, we all were trying to adapt yeah, because yeah. The, the Samis had, we were forced to adapt actually. Right. And my mother kind of was forced to adapt to that Norwegian too. She didn't realize that uh, her family was Sami because she thought they were Norwegian because she was in Norway and she didn't know a lot. Wow. But, uh, that's that's it, quite something, isn't it? Because I mean, my, my, my understanding is not huge by any means, but th there's, there has been a, 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 a bit of abuse towards Sami and, and in some ways Sami are, are kind of um, looked down on as... Yeah, really? It was yeah. Is that Surprised. fair to say? Yeah, really. We, it's really before the Second World War, I mean, the Norwegian Social Democracy Government, the uh, Labour Party, they yeah. were uh, entangled in... Uh, uh, it's kind of a Nazi uh, theory. They were measuring people's heads Nose, were, yeah, points. we were like, like yeah, yeah. So, so actually, uh, it's been a terrible. It's it's a terrible history about. Uh, uh, if you say it in German, it would be like intervention. We were kind of uh, thrown upon as uh, not really civilized, mm. not really intelligent, not really having a cult yeah you know the, all the things that i think you you guys from the uk the imperial know what i'm talking about and that was the zombies and it uh, i am now in my 40s uh, pushing 50 and i grew up uh, not knowing that we were so or i wasn't told and when i asked they said no, we are from south of Norway. It was really uh, my grandmother and my father, they had to 
hide their cultural background for me because right. that was a part of the uh, deal to get the house because yeah it's a long story but the germans they burnt down the houses that uh, my family lived in and to get a new house after the world war war they had to uh, sign, a sign a decree that they wouldn't teach their kids that they were Samis, they wouldn't they, they wow. would keep the language away and so on so yes it's true sam there's a there is a it, it's a it, it's a dark there's a dark scene behind us when we do this we're oh, going definitely. to cover that in a video and, yeah. and that's kind of what's interesting because i'm he's from the north he's yeah. in, uh, half Sami, half Chilean, uh, with a Norwegian passport. And when we were starting our channel, it was like, I am from the South. Yeah. And grew up in a quite normal, tra traditional uh, Norwegian home, yeah. where we did all the things uh, you re read about in the tourist brochures, like uh, cross-country skiing, eating uh, oranges, and uh, walking on top tours uh, yeah. to the mountains. And then I kind of teamed up with him and he had a, a, another look upon Norway uh, that was the total opposite of mine actually right so okay. uh, he had some through him I discovered all the hidden rules we are actually obeying uh, to everyone yeah yeah so that was quite an eye-opener to me. Okay, is it so strict? We are really so frugal. Yeah, we are frugal. Yeah, we have those rules. We are, we, we see, see ourselves as free spirits, like Norway is the happiest country. But then he comes in from the side and tells us about Norwegian food habits and point out things in the shop. And I'm like, okay. We are really that, uh, yeah, mm, okay. So it's, it's not easy, actually. It's not easy to be a Norwegian. And that was our, I, I was like, because my mom too from South America, my, she was like, there's a, so much difference between Constant these culture. Uh, yeah. Mm. So, and I was like, oh my God, we have spent uh, 30, 40 years trying to understand what it is to be a Norwegian. Yeah. And uh, both of us work within marketing and uh, we work with people from different countries. And right. my, I had colleagues and they were like, okay, I don't understand, blah, blah. There were a lot of things. And I was like, and the two of us have worked with the video production and television production before. Mm. Both of us were sick and tired of clients uh, telling us what to do and not to do. Yeah. So the whole channel is our... Um, it's step into the new uh, uh, freedom and the new digital. Yeah, era. and where we right. where we don't have to have uh, clients telling us what to do, and then we were like, okay, I knew that I have a mission. I want to uh, explain foreigners who are married to Norwegians, have family in Norway, mm. are coming here to visit, whatever. I mean, to work. There's a lot of people, like foreigners, working here, and I was thinking, I think they need. Uh, some kind of a tutorial on what's behind what what don't yeah. you see and that's our that's our slogan too actually behind the fjords the mountains and maybe a moose yeah yeah <laughs> uh, so uh actually the story started uh we two met like uh, 40 years ago uh, around 35 years ago something like that and we had a short TV appearance because I thought Ronald was very good on cam, very natural on cam. Yeah. So we made a short, uh, it was called uh, Every Day on TV and it was published uh, or broadcasted on uh, a new public broadcaster channel in uh, Norway. Yeah, no, it was a Norwegian BBC. Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah, but it was like the BBC too, in a way. Yeah. Um, when we were just joking around, making, yeah, I, I think it was like a predecessor to uh, uh, YouTube, actually. It was like five to ten minutes episodes. Yeah. He just kidding around. Yeah, and, and uh, later on, 20 years later, when we were uh, full working, it was like, okay, let's do it for the YouTube. And, yeah. the, and, and the thing is that uh, there's a, it's, uh, it's a necessity 
we have experienced uh, for foreigners to actually, they are craving for the in-depth information that you really can't get anywhere else. But I think it's it's like anything. I, I, people I, I want the secrets, it. don't they? The the secrets and the hacks, as people like to say. You know, it's the yeah. what's behind the scenes. Come on, yeah. Because I find him really evil sometimes about the Norwegian mentality. Like you said, you have seen the Sweden episode where uh, we show what happens to Norwegians when they go to the south on holiday. <laughs> yeah. Because when we go out of our shields and we drink a lot and we are uh, like uh, forgetting all the rules and we are totally rude. And he was like uh, uh, doing the exaggerated uh, version of a normal Norwegian when going on holiday because yeah. then you can get everything on board. And I was like, that was the first time I didn't force him to do the wrong stuff. He was doing it by himself. And I, I felt ashamed, really. I said, oh, maybe you should love the tone. Don't be that rude. And it's very interesting. It's, it's amazing. I mean, I, I'm amazed at the, the, like you say, the darkness behind it. I mean, I, I, again, this is why it's brilliant to have these kinds of conversations to understand more from people, because my understanding of Sami was whether it be, you know, of course, because it's, it's, I'm right in saying it's, it's um, Norway, it's Sweden, it's um, Finland as well. The, the Sami and, Rus and Russia and Russia. So it's all the, the very North part, isn't it? And, and so my understanding was that, yes, they were, they were treated badly and, and like it, what we would call second rate citizens, you know, that they're, they're treated like a second class of society, but to have to sign something to get a house to say that we will not essentially pass on any part of our heritage to our son. It's just, that's awful. You know, I mean, what a, it's, 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 a, it's really, a, and, and you wouldn't imagine that when you saw a, a not at all. of the happiest people in the world. But this is what's amazing as well. I think about anything is is how deep people run. You know, there, there's, you know, I find you two extremely funny, and we'll we'll talk about some of these hilarious videos because it, obviously, if people are, are listening to us and they haven't seen them, then I want them to go and see the videos so that they Good can morning. laugh and it's really quirky it's and understand quirky. as well. They have to understand what what this is all about, and and. So yeah, I get that you you want to make people laugh, and that there is the yes, there's the more um, if you like the serious side because it does give you a good idea what it's like, and and so one one um, well, should we get into some of the episodes? Absolutely. So so one one, <laughs> I, it's so good. I had to watch it over and over again. There was there was one episode where you're talking about the. Um, the, the, the favorite foods that you might find and and you're, you've got Ronald sat at a bench and he's he's got this this lovely um, napkin on the table or tea towel or something on the table and and he's got the glass of wine and and he's got this alone yeah alone yes as, as you pointed out many times Mad as well I think in the video and and you just see I have to arrest him you know <laughs> you see Ronald there and he's talking to the camera and then Mud's hand just comes along from the left hand side onto the screen, takes a glass of wine and just moves back whilst he's on the camera. Because the thing you have to understand, it's like, although if anyone sees this on YouTube, when I put this one up, Mud's normally is hidden behind the camera. And so this is a very, very special appearance that that um, who knows, he might not do another one for 20 years. So you need to watch I, this, I, folks. I, I wanted to wear a mask. <laughs> it's true it's true I, I was uh, shocked when he said okay i can be on camera so, yeah but is, is taping his mouth up with gaffer tape for for the benefit of our listeners and i'm sure he'll take it off in a minute but it was just it, it made me laugh because of course in my head it's all the 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 fresh seafood and the fish and the lovely the lovely open sandwiches and, and and all the rest of it and then the reality out comes the 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 pate and you're putting that on and that's fine and then you get the fish pate out and then you just hear muds from from the corner of going going blah, blah. <laughs> which i wasn't sure at that point whether you were pretending to be sick or actually being sick uh, 
exaggerating, of course. Of course. Uh, but I find his food traditions. He he's like、uh, down the greenery scale. He's、uh, making beans、no. and eating fish <laughs> and doing all the kind of stuff that no, keeps you your blood pressure down. And he throws that. Fish pasta on the dish, and that was actually very pukey to see. But, but the thing is, <laughs> but the thing is, and now I'm now I'm not a Sami, now I'm a South American. I mean, okay. The, the Norwegian food culture sucks. Norwegians, we don't we we、uh, eat to live. We don't、uh, live to eat. If you、yeah. I mean, and that's. That's from my mom's part. I mean, the food culture in Norway. She was really shocked. What、okay. problem? You have no frozen taste, pizza. No, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and he only eats frozen pizza.、Yeah. She was like really, I can say an English word, baffled, because、yeah. she was like, you don't have. Okay, so the only seasoning you do is salt and pepper, and the only fruit and vegetables you have is onion and potato and maybe a carrot. And some green lettuce. Yeah, yeah, and that, that doesn't taste. No, but that, that's really Norway, <laughs> and I think a lot of、uh, foreigners arriving to Norway, they really get a bit like shocked about the food. There's, there's a reason. There's no Norwegian restaurants all around the world. It's not like the Norwegian cuisine is、uh, exported, really. Yeah.、Uh, in Norway, we have two restaurants that serve traditional Norwegian food. In Oslo. But, in yeah. Oslo. But, The traditional Norwegian food is actually a grandiosa pizza, frozen pizza, frozen pizza. and a taco. And taco, yeah, taco on a、oh, Friday night. Friday night. Have you had your taco tonight?、Uh, we had a pizza. <laughs> you had, had pizza, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> just for a change. Yeah. But the other, go on. The, 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 <laughs> He's proving it. It's on screen. <laughs> no, but the food culture is、uh, that's a shocking thing about Norway. Actually, I was and, really、uh, surprised because I, I again in my head, I thought you all eat really healthily, you have this amazing healthy lifestyle all the time, and basically you eat frozen pizza,、um, you eat cheese that looks like、um, rubber, and you eat processed and food drink, and, and crap, drink and you drink a lot. Yeah. yeah. So we should be obese for some reason. We aren't because we. I think we have some kind of、uh, uh, OCD that we have to go out cross country skiing on Saturdays,、uh, Sundays, and、uh, stuff like、yeah. that.、Uh, because we have a lot of rules, as he says.、Uh, mm. We are a Protestant、uh, country. We have a lot of heritage from the old Lutheran、uh, way of living. Yes.、Yeah. Telling us. You cannot smile without three days of grief, and, and that's yeah, and that's and that's yeah. A, 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 in the north of Norway. That's really incorporated into his mind. He's like he's getting very bad conscious、uh, if he's、really、from、did. smiling too much. Yeah, if he's if he's having a too good time. Yeah, well, <laughs> he, he will arrest himself for、uh, this、uh, production. <laughs> laughing too much was a sin when I grew up. A sin, yeah, really.、Uh, Yeah, it was, and asked my mum from South America. She was, she was arriving, and she, and she was watching Charlie Chaplin on television, and she was living with my grandmother, and she was laughing. And my grandmother was like, "Why are you laughing? That's you shouldn't be laughing." So,、uh, and and he's kidding, but、uh, Norwegians, if you ask them, they would say that.、Uh, Are you religious? And no, they would say we are more secular and so on. But okay, it's not true. Actually, we are die-hard Protestants, and in and we have. We, it's like no, we don't go to church. And no, people don't don't think about Jesus we too much. We pretend to not be、uh, very Christian, but we are、um, die-hard、uh, Lutheran Protestants. So, that's, well, that, that, that's the <laughs> thing, actually. And a lot of things are sin here. Yeah, I'm just yeah. laughing because Mads has put the, the one of your special、yeah. edition masks that's got all this blood all over it. Well, it's not blood, obviously. But that's hope also it's not. the reason because I, I, in the beginning, we hated masks, but when the mask came on, yeah, we are very obedient. We are very like, okay,、yeah. the, the government tells us to wear masks, and if I see people not wearing masks. I'm, no. I'm always coughing and trying to get them away. Get away! <laughs> I'm sick. I'm dying of COVID, and then I ordered this for her. So, 
I guess I'm not typical Norwegian. I'm very typical Norwegian, but uh, kind of rebellious. And he's a very rebellious. Uh, it's very, re- yeah, yeah. So when when you first started off this channel, and how lo- how long ago was it when you started your way to Norway? 2014. So I, I can imagine particularly like, say, the the... The tourist industry maybe not liking the kind of stuff you put out. So did did you get <laughs> you get some problems? Well, we got we will because we our our thought has always been to uh, broadcast to foreigners. I mean, no, right. Norwegians were never intended to be our uh, audience at all. Uh, but then we made a video called 10 Signs You Are in Norway," and one of the local newspapers. Uh, saw this and they wanted they wanted to make uh, an article about it so right. that that became very popular uh, and not a lot of Norwegian were watching this mm. and they were furious right. they were furious about how, this is not true now and they were furious about the way I spoke uh, English because of course I am Norwegian so I speak it in a Norwegian dialect and and Norwegians tend to think that we are masters of the English language. Right. And I'm like, yes, we, we know a lot about the English language, but we yeah. are not we are not uh, fluently speaking. So I was like, I, I don't have I it's okay for me to be a Norwegian speaking English. But he's also Sami, he likes to take the shortcuts. Why should I bother with the perfect pronunciation? I just want to come. Yeah, yeah, but out. Norwegians think that's that's the most <laughs> stupid thing. If you ask Norwegian, they will say, "Oh, yes, I am fluent in English and blah blah blah." And and the way I pronounced English because I didn't care. I I, I wanted but that, to. But that was a spot they could uh, pick on because you told a lot. Sto- uh, uh, it was ten times you were in Norway. It was like L cars and uh, electrical, uh, yeah. electrical cars. Electric, yeah. Uh, uh, the fashion industry and everything, like we get horny on cars and everything like that. Horny on nature. Yes, horny on nature. Because we, of, do, we do, we do. Uh, yeah. Because car, car, car advertisements in uh, abroad is always, yeah, like the traditional with a lady on the car. In Norway, it's like buy a tree. So yeah. it, it was like. Uh, he, he was just ranting so much about uh, Norway, so that got Norwegians really fussed up about it. Yeah. Uh, they couldn't actually point the finger and say, it's not like that. So they well, had to Yeah, find... yeah, no, they do. But, but then... Yeah, but the, 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 the easiest thing to comment was your language. Of course, of course. And, so and... it was more like um, a, an uncomfortable truth that there was kind of like, they couldn't really deny it being true, but they didn't want you to tell people particularly it's like, it's like i can i can tell shit about my family but you aren't allowed to yeah yeah no but it, i'm a norwegian family too <laughs> yeah no but norwegian yeah yeah. Yeah, no, but, <laughs> yeah yeah no but that that was really and then but then the the good thing was that also foreigners in norway uh, saw this article and started to watch and then the whole situation changed because they were like, oh, my God, thank you so much for bringing this forward because I have been living here with my uh, Norwegian husband or girlfriend and you are really pointing out that... No, uh, no, I understand my partner. You explain everything about uh, our rela- relationship, really. Right. We, we get we get a lot of comments like this. Now I understand why mm. I am like I am. Mm. Uh, also from Americans with uh, 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 Norwegian. Norwegian heritage and uh, right. stuff like that. I think we have a lot of, yeah, very many people with Norwegians in the genes, but the ability to see the satire in the Norwegian uh, mentality because that's all our channel is about. It's like dissecting yeah. the mentality of Norwegian and that's why I think uh, some of the videos are getting very fun uh, yeah. and that's why because it's, yeah, we made this video about matpakke which is uh, the cheapest food uh, ever uh, in lunch the Norwegian art of the pack lunch and that's a uh, um, that video is he is actually making 
an open sandwich, but we are spending 15 minutes talking and doing everything, nitty nitty. And I mean, it's not it's not even food. It's not proper food, actually. <laughs> and, and and we didn't have these thing. If you don't have, if you don't have this mat pack uh, when you are at work or at school, people will like start staring at you and if you right. if you buy something else so that's also something that you, you you don't realize you think norwegian is a modern liberal country everyone is okay with everything and like you i mean if you came to norway to work yeah. and you didn't have this smart pocket you bought a hot meal let's say that or or something like that yeah. and all your colleagues would like start staring at you yeah. you wouldn't say anything but you would start to realize <laughs> you'd that. feel it you would feel yeah, the looks on you because you, and, you, and, you would feel it and and really so, what so, we, so he, he tried to you know uh, like undress the secret codes uh in yeah. Norway that to me it's very uh it's a uh, very common until he he points them out yeah and then you realize oh actually yes we all do the same so we, i mean mud pucker is for example it's uh, the 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 cheapest bread and it's just a, a it filling a isn't it rules. one piece to... one sandwich one one crap sandwich wrapped in paper and it must be paper so and it must be dry with dry cheese yeah sweaty, 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 sweaty cheese not dry cheese. and you're not supposed to look forward to it no <laughs> and that's what made me laugh about it as much it's like you you know you, you're not meant to enjoy your lunch no no one's meant to and back to your first thing about the the video you mentioned about the the, the pate the fish pate and things yeah it, it it's still that same philosophy you you don't have to look forward to it. I, yeah. I mean, it, it's just something you're gonna. This is good for you. Eat it. Yeah. And don't think about it. There are other things that are much more pleasant than eating Norwegian food. But that actually started. Uh, I have to brag a bit about it because after Malpaka, BBC Capital called us. I wanted an interview because of the mouth pocket culture in Norway, in the yeah. open sandwich, because of the culture of uh, not making choices. Because right. not making choices are making you a more efficient worker because you don't have to stand up in the morning and think about should I add this or this or this, because the recipe is the same day after day after day that's a really good point because so if you take for example what i would call the steve jobs look you know just just having the jeans and the black t-shirt mark zuckerberg there's a lot of people that are you know what what you might call successful in business that they they wear the same all the time because then it takes away and and uh, there are a lot it's of like people a school that, uniform exactly yeah and and but you you're saying norwegians do it with lunch as well You've got the the uniform lunch that this is this is what we have, and 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 the, and the paradox here is like we feel like we are so unique. We feel like we are so indiv individual, and we can live out our dreams. It's an illusion, <laughs> and, and that that has been like an eye opener to me actually. When, yeah, yeah. when we started this channel, I thought, okay, I live in Norway. I'm unique. My I'm, my mum was like. <laughs> Is this food? Are you sure this is food? <laughs> yeah. When she was really presented the Malpak idea, she was like, but this is not food. <laughs> like, is, is he going to eat that? I mean, it was really, it, and, and, and she was really uh, forced to, yes, this is the food. And if you don't bring it, he will be bullied. So you have to uh, start learning how to make that mud uh, It comes yeah. in a very special, you have to wrap it in a special way. What, what about maybe, if you use, say, something like uh, tin foil? Would, would that be a problem? Would, uh, would no, people, no, no, no. Would you get beaten up for that? Uh, you, will, you will never be beaten up, but the people will stare. 
And like, yeah. it's, it's, you, it's, you, it's, you do it's, mentality <laughs> like this. Yeah. <laughs> you get the, the looks. It's yeah. that, that's the worst thing. No, you don't bit. get the looks. You yeah, don't you, get you the get looks. looks. No. Yeah. Norwegians don't yeah, give yeah, you the looks. Yeah. If they don't give you the looks, just sit there. No, like no. This. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, it's true. This is a Norwegian. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's true. You will feel the looks, but you can't really see you them. You can't the see looks them. Is yeah. in the back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then if, if you turn round, people will turn round and then uh, like they're think, not looking at you. They're like you're sitting on a Norwegian yeah. tram. But mm. but to your to your mission, you are talking about laughter, and you are also talking about the mental health. I think I read something. Uh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a big thing. Yeah, and this is a big thing in Norway too. I mean, uh, we have uh, we haven't made a video about it, but one of my friends, uh, she is a psychologist. She was like, you should actually make a video about uh, we are a depressed nation with too much suicide Suicides. among mm. young, um, young people and quite old people too. And uh, it's, it's not easy actually to achieve all the, the, the bar in Norway is quite mm. high actually. Yeah. And especially in COVID, that came along because no, no, we haven't. We, we, it, it, it's it, it's not true what he said because we haven't had more suicide during the COVID. Actually, we have less. No, but it has been uh, been enlightened in a way because yeah, uh, be, be, being young in Norway today is a totally different game when I was young because it's uh, it's more like we are going to. <laughs> the Japan, China thing. You have to have good grades. Uh, the Norwegian youth uh, doesn't doesn't drink too much. Like to stay home with the parents, and they're very uh, career oriented. And yeah. it, it's even more rules than it has been. And but and it, plus, of course, they've got the influences of of seeing what other people are are supposedly living out their life on yeah, on, uh, social media, on social media, media as, as so that's what they think it is like or should be like i mean i th- i think that's a, you know that's a problem we have here as well of of for the like you say the bar is is high definitely but some of that is artificial um because it's it's what people see on social media but i think what you're saying as well is that there's a very very real bar that is set in terms of what the expectations are of being really, really. Well, of being Norwegian. No, Norway is like a small village, if you understand. Hmm. Everyone knows each other. There's right. a tight, it's a tight grip on what you can do and not to do. Even though we live in, I am from a really small village, so I really know the consequences of this. But uh, uh, I think living in Oslo, the biggest city in which is, I mean, you can't compare it to London. You can compare it to Bristol, uh, but you can't compare it to <laughs> Stop London. showing off your knowledge yeah. about England. <laughs> maybe to Kent. Yeah, maybe, no, no, we're not that posh. We're more... Uh, <laughs> we're trying to pretend we're in Kent. No, yeah, no, we're not. R- we're not. R- we're R- not Ronald's been not watching the, the crown too much. Southerners. Where, 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 where are you from, Sam? I I was born close to London, and now I I live in a place called Cornwall, which is the the very southwest oh, of south. the UK. South, oh, okay. Yeah, Sweden. Sweden. <laughs> yeah, I, I but I've been to England, uh, and when I meet people from England, they are actually so direct and uh, very rude. We love. I mean, you very, can... very rude and very outspoken, yeah, but... and they can be very, you, you know, like uh, understatement humor you got and everything yeah. like that. You can be really poisonous in a way, and um, and, the, it, it, and, the... and I love it, but it takes some time. <laughs> to do it. No, but the point he's making, I think, uh, most foreigners have a hard time in Norway. Right. But not people from the UK actually, because we okay. kind of share the same humor, which. Most most important, we share the same drinking, binging culture. Uh, I, for the I, I, I think the most parallel is people from the Netherlands. Right. Yeah, they, okay. they, they thrive here because too. Because they, they are, like it. They yeah. Are really nice yeah, because they have they have actually Matpak. We have discovered this. We thought that uh, uh, the other Nordic countries would 
be more like us if you understand and you yeah. you, you sam you are such a nordic obsessed person i yeah. do like it yeah how come you so <laughs> but, nordic and, uh, what's uh, this, yeah yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But, but, why, why yeah, you so occupied yeah. by norway that's <laughs> Yeah, keep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep that question but we found I out and have a cigarette yeah, we found out that it's not uh sweden or denmark that is most similar to us it's actually people from the netherlands yeah and that was a revelation it was not are, it was not new to me no but they were they were they have mock pocket but they have it in tin foil They have the uh, same okay. idea, but and they have the yeah. same language. They call it Oleg. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Punk, yeah, yeah. They, um, we share a lot of words and share a lot of cultural uh, uh, things. Actually, I was really surprised. And a lot of children. But back to uh, <laughs> the UK, I, I know people from the UK here, and they thrive here. They, yeah. they feel yeah. actually at home in Norway. That that's that was always my understanding. I mean, from from the people I've spoken to, often they say Sweden is is uh, you know very conservative, and that people are really conservative there. Um, that the Danes, I've had it explained to me, is kind of like uh, a little bit like the 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 mad uncle kind of idea in comparison. Yeah, and, and you and, have and you have the, um, the 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 totally loose cannons, the tins. The Finnish people, yeah, 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 but the Nordic countries are not that similar as you might think. Yeah, when you yeah. see us from the UK, I think that you you might think that we are a, a lot the same, but there's huge differences between the different nations, actually. Yeah, yeah, the Swedish call us like the hillbillies of the Nordics, yeah, that the Norwegians act more like the lucky cousin that one, along. yeah, but like. We are more uh, a little, say, a little are, bit crazy. The, yeah, the... we are. We are, and we hate hierarchies. Yeah. We want to have a totally flat structures. Yeah, everyone is independent. Everyone has a voice, and at your work, so uh, kind, kind. It's kind of like you want anarchy, but you all want it to be anarchy in the same way. <laughs> Yeah, a regulated anarchy. Yeah, regulated right. anarchy. Yeah, yeah. You are very different. And then I think when you're not so aware of things, you go, oh, well, they, they've all got Krona. They're, they're all descended from Vikings. They all live in the same kind of area. It's called Scandinavia. And, of course, a lot of people think that Finland is Scandinavia, but it's not. So there's confusion around around that. Because you have, you have uh, Denmark... It's very much closer to uh, Europe. Mm. They are more uh, Europe oriented, and then you have Sweden with a long story of kings and queens and royalty. Yeah. And, and they have another... actually French connection. Mm -hmm. They have the Bernadots, uh, the the queen and king of Sweden are French in yeah. a way. So they have that connection, which really doesn't suit Norway at all. <laughs> so when I go on. If I've been on pan scan meetings with uh, Finnish people, Swedish people, and Danish people, I always end up with the Finnish people drinking vodka uh, until five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. So maybe and that's what brings and, you and together. The Finnish people are like they don't give a shit. They just like uh, sitting. Everyone is very serious, and they say "pekula." Yeah, I love the Finnish. Do you, Do you consider yourselves to be European? Uh, we, I think we are not in no uh, us personal or um, yeah, yeah, we, we're you two, but it's is it. It's, but no, then we can yeah. say we yeah. can widen it up and say, is it is it Norwegian to be European? Uh, I think Norwegians are not truly aligned with uh, uh, with themselves. Mm. We see uh, upon ourselves as a uh, very international, uh, having deals with the uh, whole world, being, oh, we know the French culture, we can have wines from uh, Germany, and we have sniffed up some uh, exotic tourists in, in Nepal, and we, yeah. we, we think we are very continental and international. I would say no to your question. Mm. Uh, I don't think that Norwegians actually at all... Uh, see themselves as Europeans. We want to, we want to go home and have our mouth pocket if we are abroad too. And we are there, there's so much similarity to the UK there yeah, as yeah. well. This is what I find interesting because 
you know, we would always talk about, and I'm, you know, I'm talking in general terms, of course, but we, we would say about going to Europe and then say, this is a big confusion now for some people with Brexit, because you hear people saying, oh, we've left Europe. And it's like, well, no, we, we haven't left Europe. We've left the European Union. If you think we've left Europe, you maybe shouldn't be allowed to vote, but that's a whole whole different but, thing. But, but but we find that really alarming. What are you doing? You are saying goodbye to Europe. I, I, we are like my father is like, oh my god, they're leaving. But that that's a paradox because if you ask Norwegians, do you want to join the EU? And most Norwegians will no, 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 please, no, thank you, yeah, we're we, fine, yeah. we're fine. But we yeah. have a light version of the EU. We have all the benefits, but we don't have all the rules. Yeah, you've got yeah, the tra- got you've got trade trade agreements. And yeah, stuff. yeah we, we think we trade, and we can own. still enter the European uh, Community with our passports. So, uh, so. so Tell me about your relationship because you you two constantly talk over each other. You um, you you act like well, like an old married couple. Really, oh, we would say. Yeah. You know, you you fight, you argue, um, and it's not pretend, is it? It's not like you do it for the camera. This is this is real. <laughs> so uh, tell us about your relationship. You then. should see in some of the behind the scenes stuff. Actually, uh, we, well, we we made a really. Really heavy production called uh, Ar- uh, Norway seen through architecture and uh, years <laughs> of so, no, yeah, say the name. Yeah, because thank you to all of you. That's why we are making this video, and I'm telling you, it's a hard production. We are arguing. We have been now for 20 places. And if it hasn't been for you guys, we would never have managed. It's ruining our relationship. Yeah, yeah or what kind of relationship do we have? I know many of you are asking. <laughs> so, we, so, so we went, uh, she explained uh, the whole uh, thousand years of history through uh, uh, buildings. buildings. So it was our, I think it was our biggest production. It took a week to shoot and we have to go to a lot of different locations and we were arguing all the time and some of the behind the scenes stuff we are just shouting to each other <laughs> oh f you you can go home and die yourself full of yourself <laughs> for why you're say, saying this and in the end it's like okay are we married or not or what is happening here yeah so we are uh, we have our art how do you say that? Artistic disagreements. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we have been friends for... Uh, I met Mats in 1993, I think. Right. And we have been very, very good friends. We have the... Uh, we work in the same industry. We share the same interests. Yeah. And, uh, but when we do this, uh, your way to Norway... He didn't like me when he first met me. Really? No, he was like from the north of Norway. They had a lot of uh, uh, in, um, prejudice. prejudice about uh, it's separated. In no, but I had low self-esteem because he he's from the capital and I was this uh, Sami Latino <laughs> trying to be a Norwegian. Oh, and he was oh. and he was Norwegian. So, of course, I had low self-esteem. He was always angry. <laughs> <laughs> and I told him, cheer up, you're boring. I heard you were... Uh, he was like, cheer up, cheer up. Yeah. I, I heard you were interesting, but you're just a uh, sour, bitter. And that that's actually when we became friends, because he was really give, giving it to me in a way. But I, I was like, I was, I was told that you were a very nice guy and blah, blah, blah. But you're really obnoxious and you're terrible and you're spiteful and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, that's the guy that I can talk to. So yeah. after that, we became friends. I suppose that the truth is you've got the kind of relationship where you two can say anything to each other and, and it's okay that you will you will make up and you're you and you know you know ultimately it comes from a place of love really spot on sam spot on you know our makeup sex is like (laughs) when i call him the worst words in norwegian then he knows everything is okay the worst word in norwegian if i I call him a 
He, he, okay, then everything is fine again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We are friends again. And, then, and that's okay then. You, yeah, all, that's of a, okay. all of a sudden, every, everything is okay. okay. So look, I tell you, I, I've got my my favourite episodes so far. Hit a tour. Yeah. I love that one, especially the the weird thing. And and Muds, I feel... Yeah, the, I have the hit to tour. I know, so you've, got, you've got yeah, the jumper on. Yeah, so yeah, that, and yeah. it's lovely. And I thought at first, I have to say, and Muds, you know, I, I feel we know each other well enough, I can say this to you. I thought maybe you'd put some kind of um, effect, a sound effect on his voice because it's so deep. And he's like in the background, he's talking and going, No, it's, it's no just, I just want to go no. home. This is boring. I don't want to be no, here. No, that's because I had to shoot with a mobile phone. And uh, the okay. mic was on the mobile. Yeah. And I was very close to the mic and he was like two meters away. So I got very no, bad. No, but, but it's true because a lot of uh, subscribers, are, they haven't seen much in front of camera. So they're like, who is that cameraman with that deep voice? Yeah. They did. They asked the same as you. Exactly, and and for me that was just a brilliant episode. It's it's the little things like you you go walking off to get the um the water from what you make out to be fifteen kilometers away, which is probably not that far. I'm thinking, um, and then I, it was only after I'd watched it. This is the thing. I've watched these things over and over again, three or four times, that I noticed there's a sink in the hito with a tap. So you don't even need to do that. But it's not Norwegian. But, but this that, is the whole point. It's not Norwegian that, that to was, use the tap, is that it? Was, that was actually in my childhood. We had a cabin which was like that. We had to go to the river to yeah. get, uh, and pick hole in the ice to get water. And my mom loved it. And it was always like uh, 30 people on the uh, cabin in the whole uh, family. And it was not a hit to tour uh, 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 unless we uh, woke up at six o'clock in the morning <laughs> and uh, prepared our mouth pakke yeah. and then walked on uh, uh, cross country skiing for uh, uh, 15 hours and then came back <laughs> and in the end i was just protesting i was just like uh, yeah. uh sitting inside and reading Donald. Trump. yeah the, the the video it's true there's there's there is a tap uh, water system and there's actually a shower in the cellar uh, yeah. And a, and yeah. A bath but it's a it's cold yeah but but, uh, but it's, it's more norwegian to to have the shower outside yeah. but we are we are talking now about illusions because Norwegians in their Protestant Lutheran heart, they really want the cabin to be like that. Now Norwegians are dead rich yeah. and they make palaces with everything, with all the electricity, with all the electronics, with all the uh, stuff that the they want. The cabin yeah. costs more uh, than their uh, uh, homes. But it's... It, 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 it's very common to have a, a hitter in, in Norway, isn't it? Is, is it? is it almost everyone has got their own cabin or uh, no, no? no? No, actually not. It's not everyone, but most people, if you are from Norway, you either have a hitter or you have your family home. Like I have, right. I have my, my, it's my house where I grew up. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be, a built cabin it mm. can also be a family home from because just like in most western countries we are more and more urbanized people are moving mm. into the cities and but they are leaving back their houses and so on uh, so but the idea that uh, norwegians we love to think that most norwegians have a cabin and and the idea is to leave the modern world for some it's each weekend yeah. to stay in a more grounded more primitive more and what we told in that video that's the idea that's what we are that's norwegians are seeking for yeah it's a bit pretentious 
It's like what it, we it, it, yeah. it's not like great. We got the kitchen from ATH, and everything is upgraded and extremely costly. And you can drive all the way up, but, to, up to the cabin, but, but mm. we leave like a small engraving showing a troll or something like that, yeah. and, and maybe a carpet on the wall just to make it feel like oh, we are living really uncivilized. Yeah, brilliant. I, I usually hate Hittitude, but those Hittitudes are better because before it was like if you went on Hittitude. You had to go cross country skiing for ten uh, hours. Yeah. Your mother would tell you that, oh, it's 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 just going to take this five is minutes. Religion. This is really it's just going to take five minutes. We're just going to that little <laughs> hill uh, <laughs> over there. And when you pass that hill, it was and then just this little mountain. And all of a sudden, you were like walking on skis that were uh, sliding backwards, and it was like <laughs> hell. And uh, you went up on Friday and you drove for like eight hours and then you had to carry all uh, the food to the, the cabin. Yeah. And it was just crap food because it had to be lightweight. Yeah. So the bread was always dry and no luxury. And then we spent Saturday on uh, torturing ourselves on this uh, cross-country skiing tour. And on Sunday, it was uh, uh, like going to the to the uh, river to get water and warm it up and uh, clean out the cabin and then walk another hour to uh, the car and then drive home uh, eight hours. Yeah. So people were exhausted after that. But we had that idea that you had to do it. Norwegian appreciate hard work. Yeah. And back to the Lutheran Protestanting, you have to do hard work be yeah. before you can enjoy a before moment. Before you get just reward for hard yeah. work and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you cannot enjoy yourself if you haven't been working hard before. Yeah. So it, I, I love language and I find language really interesting as well. So there's a, a couple of other episodes that stand out for me. One is the, the episode about the fantastic word Hufta. I had to put my mother into the elderly home yesterday. Hufta. Really? Hufta. Uh, this is a quite clear Hufta. A mother, old mother going to a, a home for old people. Uh, that's very trivial. That's something that happens all the time. And so this is a Hufta. Ufta. And 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 just this. So I don't I don't know it I don't know it really translates, does it, into into English? It, it, it's a, it's a, uh, some people say it's like uh, bless you. Bless you. Yeah, well, yeah, or dude. Or no, yeah, no, it's true. But it's it's, it's more about I suppose it's more about the way you say something than the word it's the word it's, itself it's but... like when you really have nothing to say but you have to say something i was robbed yesterday ifta really yeah ifta but this can be a, a borderline because if you there don't was... have any empathy no. you could actually say <laughs> oh yes ifta. oh yes yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i suppose we would probably say oh, sorry yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. No, but it, sorry doesn't work for all those situations. So no. you, you had to have more, <laughs> ad, you had to have more added word if you were saying this in English. The ufta is, uh, we are very pragmatic people. That, yeah. that, that's a good thing about Norwegians. That's yeah. a good thing about the whole Protestant work to live uh, idea. We we are very pragmatic. So this ufta word is a very pragmatic word right. because it covers everything that is not that very deep or that concerns you a lot. All those things that are just... But it really, it really was everything, wasn't it? Because you, you well, could we, have... We, 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 had, we had so much fun making that episode because we were trying to find a take on it. Uh, like uh, yeah. making Ufta scale. Ufta means, okay, directly translated. It could be sorry. I'm sorry for the loss. So I'm sorry to hear yeah. that. Something like that. But, but, it, but, also... but it is about the way you say it. Yeah. So I, we had so much fun trying to find. I was like giving Ronald sentences like, "Oh my, 
my arm died yesterday. How how will that score on a Ufta scale or I am sorry scale? And I, she I, was I, old, so it was a clear Ufta. Because <laughs> but it was a, like Ufta. Like, but when no, he, but Ufta, when he told yeah. me, like I don't care a but, shit. But when, he, <laughs> but when he told me that he will stop drinking. Then the, that was that was not no, that, that, that was really too fundamental. The, the, the scale was burned. Yeah, the, the, the ground under me was shaking. But that that's what I loved about it. It was kind of it was oh, kind gosh, of like, was like giving a public speech. Some someone could go, oh, I've I've um oh, I've got a little bit of a cold, and it'd be like ufta. Yeah. And someone's forgotten. Oh, okay. you, you, God you, forbid you, you, they you, forget their mud pucker and leave it at home. You'd be like, oh, ufta. ufta. Yeah, try try an ufta on us now. But um, say, I, say, I, say I've um, I just crashed my car and my leg has been amputated. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is that no, is that no, no, is that no, 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 how, no, how much of a leg do you no, still no, have? No, I see this. No, no, one leg. He was amputated. No, that would be. Oof. Uh, yeah, you can still we, use the we, same we, word. We would, like, we, we would need some empathy into the. Oofta. Uh, we found this uh, Facebook group actually. It's called uh, Oofta Group or something like that. It's a um, American American group. heritage group. Oh, they, right, call okay. it, yeah. they, they call it the Oofta Group or yeah, something like yeah. that. <laughs> so that gave us the idea. Yeah. Uh, no, I like it. It's a very funny episode. And and the other one about language I liked was the. The the strange, ah. yeah, because you oh. watch. It's an old. No, yeah, but you you have to see this line here. Yeah, but this is just a child. Yeah, 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 down. yeah. But it's really, and the pronunciation is, uh, uh. Look at my duck lips. For all of you who have duck lips, it's a beautiful word to pronounce with duck lips. Matt, can we have it from your mother's dialect? Sounds like you have to go somewhere to get treatment or something. Right. But okay, I will say it as they do in the west of Norway. They say, oh, me go me, no go me te fuse, fuse, fuse. Eh, eh. Instead. Yeah. Yeah. So let's say the cow is the is the O with the with the slash. That is the cow. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the, in the duck, there's an uh, duck, uh, uh, the, uh, yeah. uh, uh, it is. You have to see you like you're uh, quite uh, retarded in the way. <laughs> but you, ha you have to put effort into it, don't you? It's like, uh, you can't just go, uh, uh no, uh, it, has to, uh, uh, it, has to, it has to feel like you're really sick. And here is uh, beer, <laughs> it's Earl. 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 you can yeah, say, no, Earl. 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 It's yeah. Earl. No, uh, but he, yeah. uh, he was crazy because I asked him, uh, um, I pronounced it in my mom's dialect and she's from the West. Yeah. And he it, it almost got crazy. Shark like. Yeah. I, I, I'm so full. I share like. I'm so full of love. Uh, yeah, I'm not that full of love the, after those hearing three him pronounce it. Are the and then, uh, key to understanding yeah you have to right understand it yeah, yeah. so, to. so I, ha I have a, a microphone that some people over here would call it a road microphone i know uh, Röde. 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 i say Röde. Röde. Yeah. because i understand because i think these things are Röde. Yeah. Röde. i need yeah. to work more on the uh, uh yeah and Röde. then so, yeah. so then we have the the or or Oh. oh, so that's the the the, the little a, like um, a with a little, and, with, and when you have the circle, it goes oh. Mm. Almost like an oof da. Uh, no, no, not really, because there you have the nah, not not. 
Okay, I tried to say it in my mother's language. Yeah. Oh, oh, egg ass so crab, love feasting. Oh, egg ass so feasting. We discovered that it was very easy to, to teach people that uh, uh, with slow motion. And it sounds like, oh, God, crazy. Uh, we got a lot of comments from people watching that kind of uh, that videos. My dogs are going mad here because uh, <laughs> made like all the sounds like we have really fun uh, but it is, it is, is good to teach the language I like. yeah I, and I like I like all of that stuff. And 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 the the other one I found really I mean we've mentioned it a couple of times is Sidon. Sidon. Yeah, Sidon. No, uh, with a more open A. Sidon. 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 Sudan. Because Sudan. Sudan. The the the, the last. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sudan. Sudan. With an open end. Sudan. Sudan. Yeah. More yeah. like that. Sudan. Sudan. And you have to say it like you don't care. Sudan. But that's interesting because that's not a place. It's a context. It's a situation. Yeah. It's a beach, and it's but, but it's not. You cannot. Pint, you cannot place Sweden on the map. You could, you, could you have Sweden in Norway? No. No. And neither in the UK. <laughs> it needs to be warmer. So, to so maybe. Yeah. It has to come with palm trees, a white beach, and umbrella drinks. Yeah, umbrella drinks. Because, yes, as, as I've seen, you get upset if the, the sangria is not made with enough. Um, and it has to be. More than half the price. In <laughs> <It's very important. laughs> but that's easy. That's easy. <laughs> but it's, it's interesting because it's, it's like um because I, I I mean I showed you I I I like as as you would say higa although most people would know huga but it's kus in in uh, which is K O S. Long. Yeah, it's kus. Kus. Like kus kus. Kus, yeah, yeah, well, slower yeah. pronunciation, yeah. but that, in the same way, kus is is not a place. It's a it's a feeling. Right. It's a it's situation. A state of mind. It's a state of mind. So it's similar yeah. to that. Very similar to Higge, but Higge is something you do in Denmark with other people. Yeah. But Norwegian can kus say, which is the the kus. We can do it on our own. We can. I can be hmm. binge watching the Crown. <laughs> Which I, I am actually doing now uh, on on and my couch. Talking a bit like Margaret uh, Thatcher. Yeah, more <laughs> Margaret. Yeah, <laughs> I, I could do that and uh, eat, binge watching, binge eating chips or uh, potato chips. Yeah, and drinking yeah. beer. And yeah. I could I, I could tell my friends or my colleagues later on, I was really in Denmark you would say Higge or in Norwegian, I was really kuse mai. I was really that 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 would be so kuse is something to do in Norway you can do it with people on a yeah. hit tour, for instance. Yeah. Or yeah. you can do it on your own, been watching your uh, queen and, it yeah. has and have i have so much sympathy for her now he's <laughs> <laughs> so late bloomer on that so serious but it uh Kusa, we made a video about that concept he's uh taking out all the gear you need to cool the die and that's a carpet and you have to have chips uh, potato chips and you have to have your own Kusa trouser which isn't like yeah, you have to have the clothing too yeah, yeah. The you guys, to it, comfort is a big part of it isn't it yeah, that could, comf it really it has to be very comfortable but that, again it's and this is what i love about there's there's so many things that are paradoxical because you you're saying you could have kus in in your you could have kus in your hitta on your hitta tour with your friends but you have to really work for that, don't you? So is but kuse 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 is is like a, a shortcut. It's a shortcut because a, a Norwegian shortcut will not work for anything. Because if you say tonight I'm going to kuse my meaning uh, tonight I'm going to have a, a good time alone. 
Yeah. Okay, you do one sacrifice because so it's ku, the, you know, kusamai. Yeah, yeah kusa, is, because because you are that's sacrificing. Just you. Yeah, on your you're own, sacrificing yeah. the company. So you yeah. you, you are doing a sacrifice. Uh, sacrifice. You are staying alone, and you say tonight I want to kusamai, and then it means you might be a bit lonely. Uh, so okay. You can eat potato chips and uh, have yeah. So there's a let. Maybe you feel lonely. <laughs> yeah. And maybe you are really depressed. I mean, but you can no. And people, you are suicidal when you say, yeah, "I'm going to cause my yeah." Yeah, and people, my, will, yeah, yeah, and, and people mean, will and... ask you, "So what? How was your weekend?" And then you can say, "Your girlfriend left you." Uh, you lost oh, your work oofta. during COVID. <laughs> but I had a great cup of tea. Yeah. I'm cool. No, yeah, my... but you can say, no, I was coosing myself with a crown, for instance. That 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 could be so So it can be have... a bit of a, a cover up for for be. someone who's seriously I, not happy. Absolutely, yeah. it can be. So the bit I'm confused about is if you go and say, for example, on your hit tour. You have to work, work, work. You have to go and hike for miles on your on your skis and um, you you know hunt and get the water and all the rest of it. Is that kus or is kus kus only when you get in the evening and you've got the it's fire in the on? Evening. So that's oh, that comes oh, 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 after the work. No, no, no. Or is, or, 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 if, if you're having a pause on the tour, if you're having a break after going like. Um, 20 kilometers, you can sit down, then you can cool uh, die with uh, a small tiny bit of chocolate. Okay. For five minutes. Yeah. But the hiking would not be cool. Yeah, but that's that's actually, for Mots, that would never be cool. Right. But for a lot of Norwegian, they would say, oh, in the middle of that the long walk, they would say, oh, this is really cool, Sally. So, so it yeah. depends on the person. Actually, it's not. It's and and that's some. Uh, we try to say we cool us on uh, across on hiking. It, it's very pretentious. It's very in no, our no, genes. No, no, we, yeah. we have to say it, even if we hate this. No, but Mats really hates it. But I love work. Yeah. I I, I wouldn't be cool, so my if I didn't do some work at Peter Two, because yes. that's again back to the Sami. Samis, we we work all the time because mm. we don't we don't have that electricity. And you have to you have to have all your food uh, prepared and made and hang yeah. up there and dried and uh, everything for the winter. But but just look at the video and see what happened to our friend Hanna when on Hitotu. She had to take out the saw. And start cutting down uh, wood. But she's causing herself. <laughs> and that was it, it was uh, in the instant, <laughs> instantly. I can't be on that hütte just sitting there. There are so much things to work on. Yeah. And there's a pleasure. Uh, you you are lying. No. <laughs> yeah. Because in the end, in the end, you know when people comes back from hütte too, they all say, "Oh, we cause the us." It was fantastic. Yeah. And when yeah. they drunk, maybe three weeks later, you hear about the nightmare it was. Yeah, yeah. Like, like the it's scary been... children in the outside toilet and the things like this. <laughs> but the all, all, the, all the work and all the arguing and everything. Yeah, yeah the tripping over, the, the cutting yourself and sawing your finger off by accident or anything like this. No, li living too close to each other. But that that's enough for many people. It's like um, you know, I think any any friends or family that that can often be the source of arguments, can't it? Having him on a hit tour, it's like having Joan Collins on a hit tour or something <laughs> like that. Because it's he, uh... he is so wrong on this. Because when he goes, he do when he goes Joan Collins, when he do Joan Collins, yeah, but he tried to be Baden Powell when he goes on hit to tour. He's Baden Powell. It, it's a it's a leader of the uh, he, he started yeah. the scouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's impressive so, knowledge, man. Moment, he enters that cabin. He's like, oh, I have to be the leader of the pack. I have to do this. <laughs> this OCD is all over the place. Oh, 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 oh. he's not able to I see that. Through. Now that's that's an interesting point. Then, so say so you've got say so you've got a group of friends or two families. Is is it? Is it a Norwegian thing to allow the other person to be leader, or is it more Norwegian to say I'm the leader? 
Uh, there are uh, many leaders. <laughs> Everyone's a leader. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, it's a big fight. It's a hidden fight uh, about who's on top. And, and uh, no, ma- not- make it, he's like when he's on tour with the family, he has to be like in charge. If, right. if he's not in charge, he will uh, fall apart. And a, a lot of other people have their plans and they want to oh, we do my plan and this plan. And that's why it always ends up with five different programs merged together in an enormous amount of uh, activities that has to be done. Yeah. But, no, but I don't, have, I don't have the problem because when we go on Hit the Tour, it's you always are, him. Yeah, but you are too uh, bossy. You, no, I mean, you never <laughs> do anything. Yeah, but uh, you call he me, you calling me John Collins. I'm calling you like uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know the word. But, I mean, uh, Joe Collins wasn't the first place I thought he would go. To, he, he, I mean, he, he, he's the one that loves John Collins. <laughs> in, uh, his uh, no, his guilty pleasure. No, no, but that would uh, work. No, the only way you can be a boss or have be in charge is to work. You have to lead by example. The the test. If, if you are a foreigner in Norway, if someone invites you, a Norwegian invites you to the Hitta, then you have been let in. A, a cabin invitation would be like the queen, again to the crown, inviting you to Balmoral or whatever it's yeah. called. Yeah, that is, that's that, that, true, true acceptance. So, yeah. 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 So th- that's the actually the same. That's a t- that's yeah. a ticket to the Norwegian. And bar. if you are lucky yeah. enough as a foreigner to be invited to somebody's home or to somebody's cabin, yeah. then you know that you have a loyal Norwegian friend. Do you see yourselves as comedians? Yes, uh, I think that's very pretentious. Or to to non Norwegian to say, oh, I'm a comedian. I don't think <laughs> since <laughs> my mother is from South America, and you can mother, say yes, yes, yes. I because I find uh, from my my experience with all these uh, different backgrounds, I think the only thing that you can do is pinpoint some funny stuff. Yeah. On, on that and lo- have a laugh. I mean, I don't think it's a purely comedian. No, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a satir- I mean, sh- it's a satir- shut up, shut up. This was now I was really doing. This is a really important thing. Okay, for me. nice to speak to you. So yeah. you can talk to yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What I am proud of uh, that we, the two of us, have achieved is that we have uh, subscribers and viewers from really, really all over the world. Yeah, and some of the best things. The best thing about our channel are the comments, actually. Yeah. Because their people share whatever topic that we are making. Lunch, for instance, that we were talking about. I love to watch our comment section. Yeah. And I really love to see that that woman from uh, Netherlands got uh, an answer from U- U.S., or from China, because yeah. they are really interacting. And, and they start to talk a little bit about us, and we appreciate it, but then they start to talk about themselves, and Mm. how do we do lunch, and how is food important or not important in our culture, and and so on. And I, I think that's our greatest achievement with this channel. I love to read our comments. Well, it is a brilliant channel, and and I, I hope you guys just keep on making more and more episodes because I'm I'm well and truly hooked. You know. you. I hope you carry on making more because putting that laughter out there is really important, but it is all about the connection as well. And just as a reminder to people, look you up on YouTube, Your Way to Norway, and that's two as in the figure two, Your Way to Norway. And um, they can buy merchandise as well. I need to get myself a Ufta. Yeah. Maybe a hoodie or a T-shirt. I'm not sure yet, but Ufta is definitely the one for me. Um, as we didn't talk about Fokker, but we'll do that another yeah. time, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining me. It's been an it's absolute been a blast. blast. And we love your mission. We love your idea of making a podcast. And we think that you are really Sexy. important just now. Sexy. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. We'll yeah. see you soon. Yeah. Say hello <laughs> to your wife and your kids. I will. Us. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. And a big Bye. shout out to your audience. Yeah. Yeah, of Bye. course. Of course. <laughs>